Hunger is unacceptable, especially in the life of a child or a senior citizen. I think we all have those aha moments when we really realize it's what we do here at the food bank is important. I've had several of those since I started here about a year and a half ago, but one that really stands out in my mind is a day that I went out to see a friend of mine that I haven't seen in probably six months. And I knew she really had hit some hard times. She found out she was pregnant, she's very young, and she was really scared. So I went out to her home. Um, it's in our service area, it's a very rural area, and um, the grass was so tall that it was taller than my car, I could barely see her home. We pulled in and she had all these dogs tied up that um, she was taking care of. Um, and they were they were hungry. I went in the house and I saw that the reason the dogs were hungry is because she was hungry as well. Um, she didn't have a working stove, she didn't have running water, um, she couldn't even flush a toilet and um, I felt horrible that I, I didn't know that. And um, that day I, I realized I needed to do something to help her, um, but she, was, she, she didn't want to ask for help. She wanted to try to do it on her own and I understood that, but um, I, I wanted to help my friend. And so that day I went home and um, started making a list of ways I could help her. I know stories like this happen every day in our 19 county region and across the United States and um, we need to do something about it. That is unacceptable. No one should have to, to live like that. No one should have to miss a meal because they can't afford to buy food. And um, I, working at Second Harvest has really brought things into focus for me and it's made me want to strive to be a better person and really help our neighbors in need.